this is p type semiconductor p type semiconductor is uh, having the ions acceptor ions the minus are the acceptor ions like indium ions and then uh, the blue circles blue spheres blue small spheres are the holes and uh, here in n type the plus sign they are the ions ions mean the donor ions they donated the electrons to the semiconductors by donating electron now they become the ion like arsenic arsenic donated the electron now it is an ion so plus they are all the ions and the red small spheres they are the electrons now what happens if uh, the p type semiconductor is brought closer to the n type semiconductor p type semiconductor and uh, n type semiconductor they are brought or close together close together and when they these two p and n crystals or the semiconductors they physically collide joined or diffused so what happens because there is a density of electron is too high to this side to the inside and density of holes is too high along the p side so what will happen the these electrons these electrons they will try these electrons they will try to diffuse into the p side and the holes they will try to diffuse in the n side the holes try to diffuse into n sides so these are the holes they try to diffuse into the n side and electron they try to diffuse in the p side the electron try to diffuse in the p side so the diffusion takes place for short while then the diffusion stops then diffusion stops you know why the diffusion stops diffusion takes place for short while then diffusion stops now what happens then um, you see like uh, this region there there are no majority carriers between the two black line there is no hole and no electrons what is there only the ions along the p sides they are the negative ions they are called the acceptor ions along here they are the positive ions they are you know donor atom they becomes the ions okay like arsenic ions like these are the indium ions by accepting electrons by donating the electron now they are the ions but no majority carriers they are uncovered you know before uh, p type and n type diffusion p type was neutral n type was neutral now at presently some ions of the p type they are uncovered some ion of the n types are also uncovered by the carriers so a potential you know this is my negative ions so negative potential positive ions positive potential so a potential is existing minus plus this is called potential barrier this negative potential and positive potential this is called potential barrier why called barrier because these electrons you know red one they try to 
they try to diffuse with this red one they try to diffuse into the p type similarly the holes you know these holes they try to diffuse into the n type but this negative potential the electron tries to come this side but negative potential opposes the holes they try to come this side but positive potential it opposes so not possibility of holes to come now here to neutralize the electrons because because of the positive potential no possibility of the electrons to come here and to neutralize the hole because of this negative potential negative potential opposes moreover these holes they remain here in this crystal because of the negative potential and these electrons they remain here in this crystal because of the positive potential so this is this region you know this region is called depletion region you know why called depletion region because there are no majority carriers majority carriers are depleted mean they are less no majority carrier that is the depletion region and uh, the it is also called junction you know why called junction because holes and electrons they neutralizes here this is the meeting place of hole and electrons that's why i called it as a junction and uh, the potential is called potential barrier okay and uh, if you want the current to start holes to diffuse here electron to diffuse here you to remove the potential barrier by ex applying external battery so if external battery removes the barrier only then it is possible the further diffusion of the carriers okay formation of the pn junction barrier when the n type semiconductor and p type semiconductor material are joined together a very large charge density gradient exists between both sides of the pn junction the result is that some of the free electron from the donor impurity atom begin to migrate across the newly formed junction to fill up the holes in the p type material but using negative ions however because the electron have moved across the pn junction from n type silicon to the p type silicon they leave behind the positively charged donor ions on the negative side and now the hole from the acceptor impurity migrate across the junction in opposite direction into the region where there are large number of free electron were present and leave behind negatively charged acceptor ions as a result the charge density of the p type along the junction is filled up is filled with negatively charged acceptor ions and the charge density of the n type along the junction becomes positive this charge transfer of electron holes across the pn junction is known as diffusion the width of the p and n layer the width of this p and n layer depend on how heavily each side is topped with acceptor density and donor density respectively this process continues back and forth until until the number of electrons which have crossed the junction have a large enough electric charge to repel or prevent any more charge carriers from crossing over the junction so therefore a state of equilibrium that when electrically neutral situation will occur producing a potential barrier 
John around the area of the junction as the donor atom repels the hole and the acceptor atom repels the electrons. Since no free charge carrier can exist where there is a potential where there is a potential barrier the region on either side of the junction now become completely depleted with any of the free charge carrier this area around the pn junction is now called the depletion layer the width of this depletion layer depletion layer is generally 0.5